Good morning. Glad to be here again. Uh, I think everybody knows me so far. Uh, my name is George Kormos, and I'm missionary to Romania, sent out by uh, Austin Chapel Baptist Church. And uh, my wife and I, we are here uh, in our third furlough, I think, or fourth. I don't Fourth, yeah. But uh, what I want to say is, I want to say thank you for, from the depth of my heart for uh, having us as your missionary, for praying for us, supporting us financially, uh, being on our side all the time. And I can tell to everybody here, I have a lot of you as a friend on my Facebook. And uh, I keep in touch with most of you on the Facebook, uh, posting or uh, uh, giving likes. So pretty much I know everything was going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. Uh, <coughs> you can realize my accent didn't change <coughs> because as most of you know, I have been born in Romania a long time ago, but by the grace of God, I came legal in the United States in 1996. My wife and three of our four kids uh, came with us. Uh, the fourth one was born here in Loudoun, Colorado. And uh, God bless us in two years here more than... 40 years in Romania. 1996, when I came in the United States, I would never believe if somebody would told me, Brother George, after 14 years you get to go back in Romania to preach the gospel to your own people, I would say, me? No. No way. No way. I don't think God is so cruel to me. Once he blessed me to come here in this country where I was dreaming since I was a young boy to be here for the freedom, he will send me back in Romania. I know what's going on there. I'm not going to go. <laughs> but, you know, when God calls you to do something, you better do it. Amen. So God prepared the place there. He prepared me, my wife, my family, and everything. 2010 was the year when we, me, my wife, and our youngest son left the United States and went in you know, Romania. And since that time, that was June 13, 2010, when we had first service in Romania, three days after we landed in that area. So uh, God blessed me over there. God bless my family over here because all four of our kids are here in the United States. And before the service, we were talking about for us, for me, my wife, this is our country. Our children, our grandchildren, and their future is here. I have Romanian passport too, but on my Romanian passport, the domicile is United States. United States is my country. God blessed me to meet Brother Justin in 2009 at Denison, Texas, when the state meeting was there. I met him. He was at Timpson at that time. But I met some of you in the same year, in the fall of 2009. I have here a long time a good friend of mine, Brother Joe Looney. His church up in Gillette was the first one which I visited. I'm so glad to be here with you. I would like to share a lot of things with you, but uh, I don't see a, a clock around here. <laughs> so you don't use that? So, you know, in Romania we have that clock on that wall. You remember that. The clock is not for the people from the pews. The, the clock is for the, the preachers. You know, so they have to 
cut their preaching when the time is come. We go to, to eat. I think the food is already smelling here. <laughs> so, what I want to, to uh, tell you since Austin Chapel became our uh, sending church in uh, 2016, uh, I think it was August when uh, you voted to have us our, as a missionary. Uh, since that time, in the, the area in north, northwest Romania where we work, we have two mission work plus, we have a Hungarian uh, Baptist church, it's an old church with old people, the youngest one, I think is 75 years old, and uh, we uh, try to keep them, uh, you know, to help uh, that uh, church there, and uh, since 2016, when we went back in Romania, we have eight souls who have been saved. They confessed Christ as their Savior. And at the beginning of this year, January 1st, one more soul confessed Christ as his Savior. The presentation will, uh, will show not all, but most of the... the uh, work we do there, activities, church activities, and uh, it's from uh, 2016 after we uh, went back to, to Romania till now. Um, everybody know, I want to say one more time thank you for uh, giving the opportunity to Brother Justin to come there to visit in Romania. It was exactly one year uh, the day when, when they came there. So uh, maybe he told you a lot. Uh, he and Brother Sean Holland uh, were kind of surprised when they end up there. And they, they recognized. Uh, I knew a lot of things, but I didn't realize uh, how the things here are, how the villages, uh, the people, houses, and everything, how this area looks like. So they both <laughs> were wrong. <laughs> one side, so, but uh, because they were there, they could give you more information. So, uh, if uh, they will have another opportunity to come there, that is very helpful for us uh, on our mission field. When your pastor is coming there to see you, uh, that brings more, more courage to the people around there, and they are coming to visit our uh, church services. So uh, another thing which I want to bring up now, because I might uh, forget about that, uh, I've been talking with uh, Brother Justin and with Brother Sean Holland from Meadowview. Uh, we want to, all of you, take that as a prayer request we have on the bulletin, on uh, our newsletter. We need a helper a missionary helper there. Uh, we're talking about, I don't know who wants to come, but, uh, or who God will, will uh, choose for that, uh, because we want to build our uh, church building. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we have a lot of work to do there. We have a lot of teenagers. We need somebody who can teach them uh, English lang language, uh, from uh, this year, uh, the students which are at high school in Romania, um, after four years of high school, they give a final test. They don't pass that test. They have two chances. They don't get diploma. So they have to repeat the fourth year and then have two more chances. And one of the tests which uh, they introduce uh, is a foreign language. So most of the, our kids attending our church, they want to give that final test from English language. But the school system is very weak in teaching kids foreign language. So we need somebody to come, to come there to help us with that. Plus, uh, we have orchestra. <coughs> And the teacher we have, he's very, very busy and 
Now, in last two months, he came only about three times there. So we need, because we have instruments, and we need that. Plus, the activities with youth people there. It, I love to play soccer, to go outdoor and everything, but now, you know, step by step, looks like my, my legs are popping like uh, my knees. Uh, where is the brother who has uh, goats? Uh, it, I think he's outside, or doesn't matter. Did you ever heard how the goat's knees are uh, pucking? And <laughs> sometimes my knees do the same. So we need, we need, we really need that. And I ask you to, to pray for that. Maybe someone, someone here wants to do that <laughs> work. But let's start to, to see that presentation. I don't know where to, oh, okay. You have the same pictures there as I have on the other side, right? Uh, that, those pictures are from uh, 2016 Christmas time. Um, so you see the group of uh, kids, teenagers, uh, singing carols, uh, our or orchestra. Uh, they are involved at its Sakalaso uh, church. Um, Adonis, his name. Uh, after we went from here, he uh, surrendered to help us with the devotionals. He's, he was only 13 years old. Uh, teenagers class, which uh, my wife uh, had, th that the kid, kids class for Bible study. Uh, now two of our young ladies, they are very good with the guitar. Sometimes we use them to teach the others. Uh, again, a church potluck, uh, teenagers having fun, Adonis is there. Now, uh, we, in the winter time, we have uh, trips on the sliding slopes in western mountains in Romania. So, um, uh, that attendance to Sakalaso Church, that was, I think, at Christmas time. Uh, those are gifts which uh, we've got from uh, Cedar Grove uh, for the kids. Paul, another young boy, he's, he was 14, he's 15 now, who uh, surrendered to have devotionals. My wife, leading the group of kids and teenagers in uh, worship. So uh, this is from Tatarush service. You can see we have a lot of teenagers there. Brother John Sanders and his wife uh, Sharon came to visit us just before Brother uh, Justin uh, came there. So he brought the material for the Bible study for the uh, young kids. So there is the uh, four musketeers. <laughs> so, <laughs> for four preachers behind the bars. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a place which we were looking at. That is, uh, we had a trip to city of Oradia, the largest city, which is in our area. Those are old buildings there. Well, they got lost in the muddy roads there. You can see brother uh, Justin calling for help, I think, <laughs> <laughs> to get out of there. And now, uh, Friday night service at, at the Tarush. We had, now that, uh, we had fun playing indoor soccer. I have some videos on that, but uh, that is last year uh, Easter uh, sunrise service at Sakala So Church. We had a good number there. Now this is the group uh, who surrendered last, last year of the kids who confessed Christ as uh, their savior. Now another service here, I think that was uh, Easter. Easter at uh, Tatarush. Uh, Brother Otila, the one who is in charge now with the church, uh, bringing devotional to that service. Uh, we had again our orchestra uh, playing and uh, singing. Now, old MacDonald has a farm. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> that's in our backyard there. Uh, now that's a picture of my older son. He came to visit with his wife and uh, two kids, and the other is my brother. Uh, that is in Budapest. We went there to pick them up. And uh, uh, now uh, our middle son, George Jr., who is in US Navy, came with one of his friends from Germany to, to visit us uh, after uh, Emmanuel left. That was the beginning of July last year. My mother-in-law, Mia's mom, she turned eight years uh, last, last year. So uh, one picture with our ladies' uh, uh, Bible study meetings, which my wife has it. That was in uh, Varaso. Again, uh, worship the God with the teenagers group. Now that is camp time. Uh, the young ladies, they help in the kitchen. Last year, in, uh, we visited uh, Brashov area, that's called Poyana Brashov, Brashov Meadow. Uh, so we were hiking over there to a peak, which is around 2,000 meters, I think. I don't remember how much it is, that the peak. Only that group made it all the way to the top. And, and the background is the city of Brashov. And you can, you can see uh, over there. So that the group who uh, we took them another trip to Carpathian Mountains uh, Bible study at uh, in the camp time for the little ones. Now having fun, water sli <laughs> sliding. <laughs> so in the church camp time, we visited one of our uh, sister churches in Tinkabest near Bucharest. Uh, on the Sunday we were there. That uh, Ceausescu's uh, palace, former uh, communist dictator there, he built that, so we took the kids there to see that. Uh, again, these young ladies with umbrella uh, visiting. On the background is Dracula's castle, Brown Castle. So uh, here the food which we prepare for the kids in, in the camp. Now another lady meeting in Sakalaso. Uh, at the house of one of those ladies there, my wife, uh, preparing for winter. Yeah, I had to do that too. So now, uh, last, last year in the fall, uh, this uh, young lady, she confessed Christ as her savior, the lot, the tea lot, that the guy who sold the lot. I, I've been there, I have more pictures with that. So, uh, that is at uh, one of the churches around there. They invited us uh, for uh, revival over there. Oh, that the meeting at Otopain, our annual meeting, I'm sorry. Again, Brother Otila translating for that Hungarian uh, Baptist church. Uh, November birthday last year. Now this is at uh, Thanksgiving uh, day we had in November, last November, the attendance for that uh, Thanksgiving holiday. This is at Tatarush again. And when our son Daniel came, that was the first snow in our area. You see the village down there, Brother Justin, remember when we were at the very top there. Uh, our son Daniel came to visit us uh, in December, but he left in uh, 29th of December. Yeah, so he was attending the services uh, with us and the homemade sausage, Daniel and my wife, they took care of that. Now, this is the first ladies uh, retreat in our area. So me, I took the ladies to near the city of uh, Oradea. This is last Christmas at Sakalaso. Again, Christmas at Tetarush, last Christmas. So, old group praising the Lord. 
Yeah, so uh, the kids with the Christmas gift, we gave to everybody. They were not all there. These are the boys, which uh, were over there. And the young ladies with their Christmas gift. So January 1st, this friend of ours, he attended the church in 2012, and he surrendered uh, his life to Christ. And the January 1st uh, was that. So these are pictures which are taken this year uh, that the church at Sakalasel on the snow after the service. So that is the, the picture which we took on um, March 8th when uh, they celebrate Mother's Day there and the kids was, were uh, <coughs> singing for, for that uh, Mother's Day service. Uh, this one is the last service before I came Friday night at Tatarush. Uh, I think it's that. So that's about all for now. So if you have any questions, more questions, uh, we'll be in the fellowship hall there, and uh, you can ask anytime all what you want to, to know. So uh, now, Brother Justin uh, told me I have to preach. <laughs>